Hi folks, so uh, here we are today in Falmouth, Mass, fishing on Machaca Charters with Captain Willie Hatch, and we are targeting squid. Uh, for one hour, we had a great black fish bite that's part of the trip every year, and now we're targeting squid, and uh, the bite is really solid. I'm using the Ozuri squid jigs uh, in the minis and medium size in pink and blue. Uh, colors weren't preferential, they were just about hitting everything. I'm using uh, Berkeley Vanish Fluorocarbon 20 pound test. I'm using a Quantum Accurist reel. I'm using uh, Hitna Pure Line 21 pound test braid and an old Berkeley rod. Uh, so stay tuned for the food portion, cooking portion of the video coming up soon. There it is, the finished salad. Just like my first video, if you wanna make this salad, watch that video, it'll tell you step by step. Here is the lightly poached calamari, sliced, boiled shrimp, chopped celery, chopped peppers, chopped red onion, chopped fresh garlic, and chopped fresh cilantro. With the juice of three to four lemons, two cloves of garlic, freshly chopped, um, a liberal drizzle of rice vinegar, a liberal drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and uh, salt and pepper to taste. I use fresh cracked Mediterranean sea salt. And now and without further ado, on pepper to making fried mix. calamari. And, uh, Everybody. Okay, so this is Ken, and we're in the kitchen, and we are prepping calamari for good, good things. All right, so let's get right to work. We're all set up, and I've done this before, but this time I'm going to do it from the head mount. All right, so this first one I cut right here, as you can see, right below the eyeballs, right? And I also cut the claspers off. Now I'm gonna pop the beak out. That's the beak. And uh, let's see if I get it to pop out. Well, that's the beak right there. It's hard, trust me. If he bites you with that, it's gonna hurt. All right, so um, this is a large size squid. So I'm going to stretch my tentacles out by like cutting them in half or thirds or quarter. Um, yeah, we can. How's that? I think that's okay. So we quartered it, right? 
four pieces right in the strainer. It's all gonna get rinsed. Okay, so oh, there's a green thing. Dill probably. My mom was just working in here. Alright, so um see that I pinched in on the back of the wings and pulled up and you can see the skin peeling away from the from the body the tube or the carapace however you prefer to call it okay so now I'm kind of doing whoops that didn't work out exactly the way I wanted take the skin pull and peel away okay both sides and I think these things actually peel better after they've been frozen and freezing them is really no problem but these are fresh I just came from Cape Cod and here's another thing I do this is hard and chewy the uh, the joint where it's connected to the tube the body so I cut that out and that piece is good for bait, so we can save it for bait. And this is good for eating. So, throw that in there. And this is, needs to get the skin off on one side. All right, peel it up, put it in the garbage, and again, Take the, the hard part, get rid of that. Good for eating, good for bait. Now we got the body peeled and we've got the head. And right up here in the top, you can see is a spine or a quill, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of hard, like plastic, like keratin, almost like your fingernails or something but it's not quite a bone although in their body it's the closest thing to a bone all right so i just work my finger up in there a little bit and disconnect the uh, body tube from that and give it a little twist as i'm pulling out gently you don't want to do it abruptly and there it goes, the whole shebang, the whole mess, the guts and everything. Whoops, I don't want to get that on my cabinets. So yeah, it's inky still. Um, and now I have this one luckily is almost turned inside out for me, right? And um, we like that because that's really what we want to do to these things. We want to pull them inside out. I can leave the water running. I hate to be a waste full of natural resources, but uh, in cleaning these things, it's kind of like no other good way. You want to be able to rinse all the ink off. I know some old Italiano people, they actually have a way of taking the ink out of each squid and they use the ink for making pasta, fresh pastas. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so here we have a whole squid. And I don't know why, but he only has one clasper, it seems. Probably ripped the other one off in uh, catching the thing. So we chopped the clasper off. We cut the tentacles off. We pop the beak out. Now we kind of separate our tentacles. Cut them in half. I'm not gonna quarter that one. I'm gonna cut it in thirds, maybe? Yeah. Just to 
get some more mileage. I love mechanicals myself. A lot of people do, a lot of people don't. So again, pinching at the joint of the wings, right? And then working the skin. Lost my grip there. Off of the entire body, right? Pull that down. Now it's a naked, skinless squid. And we go on the inside of the wing and peel. It came off the other side already, so that's good. Same thing here. All right, peel. Clean squid, there you go. Side out quite as well. So you try to work that. I know there's a quicker way to do this. I think I just tore it through. That happens sometimes. I admit, probably not the most professional guy at doing this, but I do my best. Claspers out. Tentacles off. Beak out. So the deal is I have two bags of large squid here, a dozen in each bag, and I am uh, going to clean all these. Caught them just uh, on Wednesday up in Cape Cod, Falmouth, Falmouth, Ma Falmouth Mass with Captain Willie Hatch aboard Machaca Charters. Oh, and uh, I don't want to leave out Captain CJ of Islander Charters as well, because we actually sailed with him on Wednesday and with uh, Willie on Tuesday. And we had two great trips with both of those guys. Both really, really great guys. Great captains, great fishermen. They know their business. So, there it is. Again, spine, quill, however you want to refer to it. my squid I like to let them ink out in the bucket so that it's not so ridiculously messy and here is the uh, other three pounds or so of calamari Soaking in buttermilk, 
getting ready for the frying. Okay, so uh, here we are back at it. I've got my deep fryer, T Fowl Maxi Fry Deep Fryer, and I've honestly, I think we use this thing uh, not many times. It looks like the oil just got hot enough and ready. Here is my squid in the buttermilk. Here is my mix of cornmeal, corn flour, and corn starch. It's a lot of corn, but it's looking pretty good. I uh, put some in here, like so. I take a few pieces of calamari at a time, put them in there like so. Cover it, give it a good shake. So they get an even coating. I take it out. Pick them out, put them on the plate. And uh, get that ready for the next one. Here's where I'm gonna strain those off. Okay, so actually here goes nothing. Put one in. Yep, it's ready. There they go, the first batch. I'm excited. I have not had great success frying squid in the past. I guess I'm not Italian enough not Italian at all as far as I know and um, too German I guess but I'm trying to figure it out I watched a pretty cool video from an Italian guy and the stuff is popping okay and there we go it's happening 6.38 by that clock. I don't know, I guess I'll give it like two, three minutes. I think this stuff is going to fry up quickly. Trying to keep it as mess free as possible. And I, I like the way. Maybe I don't like the way it's coating. Give it a little bit more shaking time. Whoa. Loosen that stuff back up again a little bit there. Couple more pieces in. It is laborious. It's definitely labor intensive. But I think I gotta take this lumpy stuff out. Let's start fresh again. All right, 
let's let's check that. Oh yeah. No joke. I'd even say that's well done. Holy. Three minutes. Man, this stuff really goes quick. Keep it down to two minutes, maybe. So here it is, fried galamad, the first time I ever made it myself, and uh, it came out very well, so I did the mixture of corn meal, corn flour, and corn starch in the fryer. I chopped up some fresh Italian parsley. A light sprinkling of table salt and some grated cheese over the top and uh, mom's garden marinara with some mushrooms in there and she put a sausage in there so we can spice that up accordingly we've got hot sauce we've got a little fresh seafood salad we've got a nice green garden salad there with some arugula in it and that's it we're good to go so uh, honey yeah. Let me see you try one of those calamari rings. What? Oh, all right. She's being shy for the camera. So, um, I'm going to take one right off the top here. Mm. Mm. Perfect. It's got some crunchiness to it. It's got tenderness to it. It's got that great fried calamari flavor. And I'm gonna spice up my sauce because that's the kind of guy I am. All right, everybody, so that's how you do it. What? What, Omar? I'm gonna put you on camera now, Omar, because you bothered me. What? And this is someone eating calamari that doesn't like calamari at all. Oh boy. But mm. this is downright delicious. Wow. There's an endorsement. I hope she's not just saying that because she's my mom. No. Nope. But there you have it. <laughs> she's not a calamari person and she's enjoying this. Mm. So I got this uh, recipe from a guy on uh, YouTube, I am remiss because I don't have his name to refer you, but here's my version of it, and it came out really nice, it's delicious, I'm very proud, very happy with my results, and there's my usual calamari seafood salad with the shrimp in there, and uh, we are living large. Fresh calamari, pulled out of the ocean just yesterday. Falmouth, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, Machaca Charters, Islander Charters, Captain Willie Hatch, and Captain CJ. I'm sorry, CJ. I don't know your last name right now. Um, anyway, uh, there it is. You're talking too much. Yeah, I'm talking too much. Okay, let's eat. See you soon.